Okay, so remember, this is a general reading, meaning it cannot and will not and will not go with the star sign of Pisces. However, if you stay posted for the following readings when I decide to do so, then perhaps you'll be taking on the energy of that sign during this time, even if it is not your sign, okay? It will still resonate with you, somebody who you're dealing with, somebody in your surroundings. And if it is not your story, then please take what fits. Leave what doesn't. Do not try to make it fit. And what doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay? So, like I said, I'm going to be utilizing the Wisdom of the House, Oracle deck. And we will pull the cards live for Pisces, okay? So, splitting my deck. Ooh, two came out for you. So we got for you rigid, the number 30 in reverse, and also the high priestess. Okay, we have the high priestess of water, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, your energy, and the number four. So the number four, 34 or 30 may resonate with you. Also 12, 9, but take it where it fits. So since rigid was your first card that came out in reverse. It says, is there a stone wall that stands between you and others? Could you, could that wall be inside of you? Sorry. Now is the time to become more flexible and to drop your rigid expectations of yourself and especially of others. Don't be afraid to drop your guard a little too. If you are willing to let others in, you will see a benefit in their connections. Another meaning here is that you recognize the wall that others may have put up. Don't take it personally if they won't let you in. This is their way of coping and it has little to do with you, okay? So since it's in reverse, I feel like it doesn't apply to you. It maybe applies to somebody who you're dealing with, okay, Pisces? So if somebody's acting like a little bit distant, then that may be the reason for that, okay? Okay, Pisces. Now, for the High Priestess of Water, the number four card, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it says, Dear one, when my vampire High Priestess of Water visits you, it is to remind you that all things change, like the powerful element she represents. Water is transforming element that flows in rivers, makes waves in the vast oceans, turns to hard, cold ice, and disperses as hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white fluffy clouds, and rain. When you draw the symbol of water, it signifies a time when things in your life are changing shape right before your eyes. Go with the flow as these changes are powerful signs of wondrous experiences, lessons, and gifts. Even if you don't understand these changes at the moment, you will later, okay? So go with the flow, Pisces, your water, so make like water and flow.